This is how you save money shooting film in 2023. You develop and scan it yourself. First thing you're gonna need to do is get a Cinestale C41 developing kit. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is mix the chemicals according to the directions that come with the kit. It's fairly simple, but you should do it in a well-ventilated area. Some of these chemicals could be toxic. So I just finished up mixing the developer. That's what produces the image on your negative. So I'm gonna put that in my developing container and move on to Blake's next. If you're wondering what that red device is, it's Cinestill's TCS-1000 temperature control system. It helps me regulate the water temperature and also mix the chemicals for the chemistry. I highly, highly recommend getting one of these. It's very important to have the correct temperature of your chemicals when doing your developing. And now onto the Blix bath. This one has one more step than the developer, but still pretty easy. After pouring the second step into your container, you're then gonna have to wait five minutes to allow an endothermic reaction to happen. Don't ask me what that means, but just let it happen. And after that five minutes is up, you're gonna take your Blix, put it back into the pitcher, top it off with water, mix it around, and then send it back to your container, ready to be used. Easier. So, what you're gonna need is two reels, because I'm doing two canisters of film. Then I have one of these tanks. They can hold two 35 millimeter um, rolls and one 120. I could be wrong on that, but whatever. Scissors and a changing bag. So, let's see how fast I can do this. Loading up my darkroom bag, my rolls, my scissors. Closing it up, you don't want any light leaks. Here we go, here we go. Boom there, boom there. Secured. And this is just a little flex right here. I probably saved so much money doing this myself, I can't even put a number on it. The development process. Here I am checking the temperature of my chemicals. The developer should be at a temperature of 102 Fahrenheit or higher. I usually like to go higher because of temperature loss. You're gonna wanna make sure you get a nice seal on your container. And then when you have a nice seal, go ahead and do inversions for the first 10 seconds and then four inversions every 30 seconds after that. You wanna have a little bit of a finesse to it. If you do it too crazy, the developer will bubble up. And oh yeah, the developer only stays in the container for three and a half minutes. And now for the Blix. This time it stays in the tank for eight minutes with continuous inversions for the first 10 seconds and then four inversion cycles every 30 seconds after that. One thing about the Blix though is that it will explode. Ever so often you need to let some air out of the tank so that chemicals don't go flying everywhere. In my beginner days, I was unaware of this and I got chemicals all over my palace pants. And this isn't ever coming out. This is my makeshift drying rack, perfectly secured with tape. Taking my film off the reels here and hanging them up to dry. Should take about 30 minutes to an hour. I probably could expedite this process if I use some sort of heater or anything along those lines. I just don't have one yet. And now to scan the film. I have an old Windows XP laptop hooked up to my Kodak Pacon F135 Plus that I bought off eBay. I recommend joining the Pacon Facebook group. You can get help with troubleshooting or find any missing files you might need. Any tips on how to use your Pacon better? The Pacon has been a game changer for me. I used to scan on an Epson and it would take hours, but with the Pacon, I could finish a whole roll of film in about five minutes. And that's my whole process. Please drop any comments if I missed anything or you wanna know something I didn't touch on. Thank you for watching and I just wanna say that I hope to have a film lab one day. Thank you.